Hey there, cactus enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will be looking into one of the most important skills for any cacti owners, how to cut back and root a tall cactus. So, let's get started and turn that tall cactus into a thriving collection of new cacti. Well, you might be wondering, why is cutting and rooting a tall cactus such an important part of cacti care? We all know that most cacti are slow growers, which makes many cactus lovers hesitant to prune them. But here's the thing, a lot of cacti grow vertically and can get so tall they might fall over. Pruning helps manage the size and shape of your plant, making sure it doesn't get too top-heavy or unstable. A tall cactus can bend, tilt, or cause other damage, which can be a real headache. By cutting it back early, you can prevent bigger problems down the line and keep your cactus thriving. You can use the cut parts to grow new cacti, it is important to note that not all cacti need to be cut back. Some cacti naturally maintain a compact form and may not require pruning unless they experience damage or disease. However, tall or fast-growing species might benefit from occasional pruning to manage their size and stability. How to cut back and root a tall cactus, step by step. Step 1. Gather your tools. First, you'll need a few essentials. Pruning shears or a pruning saw. Gloves, a pot with well-draining soil mix. Step 2. Assess your cactus and plan your cut. Next, carefully examine your cactus. Look for any areas with damage, disease, or sections that are too tall or unstable. Decide where you need to cut to balance out the plant and improve its overall health. Step three, make the cut. With your tools and gloves ready, make your cut just above a node or joint. Cutting at a slight angle will help encourage new growth. Remove any damaged parts completely to avoid spreading issues. Aim for clean, smooth cuts to minimize damage to the cactus. Step four, allow the cutting to callus. After cutting, place the cutting in a dry, warm spot away from direct sunlight. Let it sit for several days so the cut end can callus over. This is an important step to prevent rot once you plant the cutting. Step 5. Plant the cutting. Once the cutting has been calloused, place it in a pot filled with well-draining soil. Bury the cutting just enough to keep it stable and position it upright to ensure it's secure in the soil. Step 6. Provide an optimal rooting environment. After planting, give the cutting a light watering and place the pot in a spot with bright, indirect sunlight. Avoid direct sunlight to prevent sunburn. Keep an eye on the cutting for signs of root development, which can take from a few weeks to a couple of months. Here are some extra tips to keep in mind. First tip, choose the right time. Spring or early summer is the best time to propagate cacti. During these seasons, your cactus will be actively growing and more likely to root successfully. Second tip, avoid overwatering. Too much water can lead to rot, so make sure to let the soil dry out between waterings. This will help prevent issues and keep your cactus healthy. Third tip, watch for pests and diseases. Regularly check your cuttings for any signs of pests or diseases. Address any issues promptly to ensure your cacti stay in top shape and continue to thrive. And there you have it, a complete guide to cutting back and rooting a tall cactus. With these tips, you'll be able to manage your cactus's size and even grow new plants. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more plant care tips and tricks. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. Happy gardening! For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.